Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Leven Institute. Today I am going to discuss about desktop power sequence. It is very important for those who are interested in desktop repairing. Today I am going to discuss about that. First of all, I am going to introduce with you the important parts of desktop first is CPU this is also called processor place and another is not this it is also called GMCH or graphics chip and other is Sotheby's it is also called ICH or ma main chips and you can see there is SIO it is also called SIO IO EC or KBC and we can see there are colorful dots these colorful dots are meant to be ATX connector ports here power supply connectors are joined here and I am going to discuss all the process in details of desktop motherboard power sequence first when power supply is connected with power cable and with the motherboard then there is a voltage enter into IO chip and this is 5 volt SB or 5 volt standby it will come from this wire and when IO will get that bolt 5 volt SB and if IO is ok then IO will pass a signal name RSM RST that will enter into South Bees and South Bees also get crystal frequency if crystal is ok and get and provide frequency and if CMOS battery pass voltages and if the RTC section is ok then South Bees is uh, confirm ok when you will press power button then I will get the power button signal and then I will pass the signal power button out to South Breeze and after having all the frequency and voltages South Breeze will pass SLPS3 and SLPS4 signal to IO and then we can see there is green wire will, is here and there will be 5 volt here when power button is pressed then the 5 volt this wire voltage will be low and the low signal will be into IO chip and then the all the voltages 3.3 volt 5 volt 12 volt will be activated first 5 volt will pass from 5 volt side wire that will first go to RAM section as it is DDR to RAM board the RAM section will provide 1.8 volt and then 5 volt will also enter to this linear regulator and that is that 5 volt will be converted into 1.25 volt and it will enter into north bees and then we can see there is 1.8 volt from ram section that will enter into a linear regulator and it will convert 1.8 volt into 1. 1 volt BTT it will go to north base 
and 1.1 around volt will go into CPU2 and if these are ok then this white tish or gray color wire will provide power ok signal to IO and meanwhile or already BRM section will get 12 volt from the, these four ports connector BRM section will get 12 volt and then there will be BRM signal from IO and other parts and there will be other signal from IO to South Beach that is power ok signal and then there will be CPU core voltage VRAM section will provide after having power and signal then CPU core voltage enter into CPU and when CPU will get the power then CPU will provide VRAM power good and it will also enter into VRM power good to South Breeze and then VRM section will enable VRM IC will enable clock IC and clock IC will generate pulses clock signal to all the required parts and CPU clock also enter into CPU and then CPU will generate BID to BRM BRM chip and then South Bridge will also provide CPU power go to CPU then South Bridge will pass PLT reset to IO and it will also pass PLT reset to not base it is very important signal if you if it is okay if this signal is okay then you can see that everything is fine then South Bridge will provide PCI reset and then not this also provide CPU reset to CPU and last of all we can see there is BIOS IC and South Beach or main chip will communicate with BIOS and if data communication is successful then we can see that everything is okay and this Play will be shown and uh, everything is okay so if there is any problem in any path any step then all the system will not be performed perfectly if we can see that suppose if there is no SLPS 3 or SLPS 4 then you can say that South Beach is faulty for any reason and if RSM reset RSM RST is not provided to South Beach then you can see that you can say IO is faulty and there is also many things are here if CPU reset is not confirmed you can see that North Beach is no this has problem and if you doesn't have CPU power good then you can say that is there is problem on South Breeze and if if you do not have BID signal then you can see there is problem in CPU and if you if BRM chips doesn't provide BRM power good then you can say that BRM section has problem 
so you can understand now how you can troubleshoot desktop motherboard so I think I have made you understand all the things thank you very 